Welcome back guys. I uh, thought I'd uh, do a short video on an, a new email application that I heard about. Um, it is right now I believe only available for Arch Linux. So here I am in uh, my Manjaro XFCE install. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I have not installed the new email program it's called n1 so I'm gonna go through the install and show you guys exactly what it looks like but it looks like it's extremely promising for a new email application so let's open a terminal and t take a look to see if we can get this installed now it's in the um, the user repository so we're going to Yawert dash s and the name of the program is n1 and so let's see what we get uh, it's asking for password and we will proceed with the installation so now it shouldn't take too long for this install I wouldn't think um, and guys, if you could give me a little bit of feedback, on the last couple of videos, it looked like I had a black line flickering in the webcam feed up in the top right. Uh, and I was using VocoScreen. So in this case, I am using um, OBS. And so... Um, I'd like some feedback on how the video looks as opposed to the last few that I used Voco screen on. Now, I, I was going to use GUVC View and uh, Simple Screen Recorder, but uh, GUVC View is acting up. It's not running properly on my Arch install. Um, had a few problems with it. First time I went to change the resolution of the uh, webcam image it crashed and so I uh, am not using it but I was preferring to use GUVC view and simple screen recorder because I've had good luck with it in the past but that's not the case uh, with this so what I'm going to do is um, it looks like I've got about a minute and a half left on this install so I'm going to pause the video and uh, as soon as this is done installing, I'll be right back with you. It's called N1. Be right back, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. I do have the uh, N1 program installed. If you want, we'll take a look at that. Uh, so let's see, it should be under internet. And where are we? Well, it's not under internet. Let's look under accessories. There we are. It's listed as Nihilus N1. Okay, so I'm open, opening up the uh, email package. Say hello to N1, next generation email platform. Continue and developers welcome built with modern web technologies easy to extend with javascript and we will click on get started so it brings up a, a list of email providers gmail microsoft icloud outlook and yahoo and you've got a generic imac smt smtp setup if you have something that doesn't fall into one of these main categories I'm going to use my Gmail and it says sign in with your browser now let's uh, sign out of that and sign in with a different account Hold on. Uh, 
Okay, so now I have signed in. We're going to allow. And so now it says you're all set. Welcome to N1. Let's set things up. So I'm going to go with the two panel. And we've got Gmail set up. Looks good. Uh, I don't have any plugins to install right now, but you can create templates you can use to pre fill the composer. Um, so you can set up templates to kind of make it easier to send email, things like that. So we're going to start using, and I'm going to minimize the browser so we can take a look at this email. Okay, so as you can see, it's a pretty nice email application. Now, this is a new email address that I created. Uh, and it displays images. I'm sure that uh, it will perform like any other email. Uh, however, it does look very, very nice. I'm going to keep it on this uh, machine and use it for my email application. Again, it is called uh, N1 Yawert. If you're going to install it from the uh, user repository, it's Yawert space dash S N1. And uh, it looks very, very nice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I just came across this this evening and thought I would uh, pass along the video. So again, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.